Hello children, in this lesson we shall learn about how to do addition of lengths which are in decimal points. But before that, let's take some simple examples of additions of length without the decimal points. We know the length can be commonly measured using meters or centimeters. So let's say we have a cloth of 3 meters length and we got another cloth of 6 meters of length. So how much total cloth we have? Let's try to find out. We write 3 plus 6. So we have 3 meters of cloth plus 6 meters of cloth. How much is total? 3 plus 6 is 9. So we have 9 meters of the cloth. Right? Let's take another example. Let's say now we want to add two lengths in centimeter. Say we have 45 centimeters plus 20 centimeters. How do we do it? Just like two digit addition. 5 plus 0, we start from 1's position. 5 plus 0 is 5. 4 plus 2 is 6. So we have 65 centimeters after we add 45 centimeters plus 20 centimeters. So remember, keep the unit consistent in both the numbers which you are adding it should be centimeters and then the answer also comes in centimeter or like previous problem both the numbers were in meters and we got the answer also in meter but then not always may be the case so let's say we take a problem which is having meters as well as centimeters let's say we have 15 meters and some centimeters in this example it is 0 0 centimeters so it's actually 15 meters and we want to add it with 64 meters and 0 0 centimeter so good way to write this thing is you write meters and centimeters separately write the meters value below the meters and the centimeters value below the centimeters even if there is no centimeter you write 0 0 why just 2 0 0 because we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So in this example, 15 meter plus 64 meter, I have written it as 15 meter and 0, 0 centimeter and 64 meter as 0, 0 centimeter. Now how do we do addition? We start from the rightmost digit, that is the 1's position of the centimeter. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 4 is 9 and 1 plus 6 is 7. So this way, even if the centimeters were non-zeros, it can be say 15 meter and 10 centimeter, 64 meter and 20 centimeters. You can continue to do the exactly the same way. So if you look at carefully, this is nothing but four digit addition. Only thing is that the four digits are separated by this small line which I have drawn to separate meters with centimeters so that when you read the answer, you know what exactly it is. This is 79 meters and zero centimeter right now let's come to the extension of this thing to the decimal point so let's say we have to write 8 meter we can write this as 8.00 meters that is this 00 represents the centimeter aspect of it so 8.00 meter is same as 8 meter and we want to add 8 meters of cloth with 7 meters of the cloth using decimal notation. So we can write is 7.00 here. So 8.00 plus 7.00 meters is equal to how much? How do we do it? We start from the rightmost digit that is the ones position of this decimal point here. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. We go beyond the decimal point and 8 plus 7 is 15, 5, 1. So it's 15.00 meters of cloth we have if we add 8.00 meter plus 7.00 meters. Make sense? Let's take another problem. We have 0 0.50 meters which is nothing but 50 centimeters plus 0 0.10 meter which is nothing but 10 centimeter. You want to add them? Do exactly the same thing. Write one number below another, write the centimeters number below the centimeters or the numbers after the decimal point below it and before the decimal point below it, add the units like meter, meter, meter 
and remember this cannot be centimeter 0 0.50 centimeter we are we taken meter problem so it's we write meter here and we start doing the addition 0 plus 0 0 5 plus 1 6 0 plus 0 0 make sense let's take another problem we have 0 0.87 meter plus 0 0.63 meter we start from here 7 plus 3 10 same rules of like normal addition we cannot write 10 here so we take 1 as a carryover and put here then we do the next digit 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 6 15 we write 5 here and 1 goes to this position beyond the decimal point we know 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter hence we moved 1 meter above 0 as a carryover so it comes here 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 0 1 so we have 1.50 meters so the same rules of carryover applies just like a three digit problem only thing is there is decimal in between so when you read the result it will you should read as 1.50 meter or in other words you can read it also has 1 meter and 50 centimeters right and because we know 1 meter is written this and the point 50 meter is nothing but 50 centimeter let's take one last problem let's take a bigger number 96.90 meter plus 58.00 meter we'll go fast 0 plus 0 0 9 plus 0 9 6 plus 8 14 1 goes as carryover 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 5 15 right so the answer is 154.90 meter so that's all for today children. Bye-bye.